Hey guys, this is Bad Al, uh, bringing you another Star Wars Battlefront, Battlefront 2 video. Um, this one is related to um, the Steam update that was released February of 2021 that added controller support to Battlefront 2. Now this is a Steam only um, executable and it was only on Steam for one day. And then it was reverted the next day because everybody was complaining about it breaking all their mods because this, the release that they did was not compatible with the um, unofficial patch, which pretty much everybody who still plays Battlefront actually uses. And um, I was able to get a copy of that um, Steam update um, and I was able to patch it so, so that it actually does work with the 1.3 unofficial patch. And I was just going to show you um, what it's like. So here we go. Let's start it off. This is on my Steam Deck. I still recommend that even though this does support controller, you have the... Um, the right touchpad mapped as a mouse because you, it's still nice, still nice to have a a mouse in some places. Okay, so first notice the screen, right? We have the bottom of the screen. We have these um, the button icons, and so it's to to log in. Uh, so you, oh yeah, so you can select your ID. Uh, with the controller, and um, then hit accept. Now, oh, let me show you that. Like, I don't have anything. I just have. I mean, this is just buttons. There's these. These aren't mapped to. These aren't mapped to um, anything on the keyboard. Well, mostly not. And so right now I'm just controlling this with with the controller. Uh, the first thing that you might notice on this screen is I have this instant action alternate right here. And so what this is, is um, this is the controller instant action screen that is um, in the in add-on folder. And it adds, um, it adds era and um, era and new mode support from the unofficial patch. So this one right here, this is on um, the Clone Wars Revised. And so you can so you can see they have a couple of different um, game modes on there. So we have Phase One, the Star Wars Clone Wars, and I'm and I'm using the um, just like you would have uh, you use it on the Xbox. That's how I'm using the controller right here. So let's take a look at. Uh, Coruscant, the Clone Wars, go in game. Let's see what it's like now. Again, this I'm controlling with the controller, and this one too. This was kind of a pain because this one only you could use the mouse before, but now supports the controller, and has these nice little icons in there too. Oh, I didn't realize that. You were supposed to be able to select command posts with the bumpers. I'm not sure that... Oh, it does work, too. I just noticed that. That's really cool. Well, at least at least we know that now. The only kind of weird thing is the B button is mapped to crouch. If you want to roll, you got to map that to another button. Let's take a look at the options. Oh, you see, I do. I did put the free camera and the fake console in here. And these options. Yeah. So I'm, again, I'm moving these around with the uh, with the D-pad on the controller. Video, select audio, controls. Uh, now this is just a regular screen for mapping the the uh, the mouse and keyboard 
But if you look at the bottom, it has a button for um, the gamepad control. So we'll just hit that, um, the equivalent of the left pointing arrow button to, op to bring up that menu. And so now we're, it's got the 360 controller showing off and it has like these different regions where showing you, um, giving you options to, to select. Let's see, unfortunately we don't have a role as an option for that. Too bad. I wonder if I can figure out how to fix that. I don't know. Anyways. Let's go back out to the menus. Okay, so that was the instant action um, alternate. Now we still do have um, instant action from the 1.3 patch, or from the unofficial patch. This does not, well, I guess it kind of does work with the controller. Let's see what. kind of works. I guess you can s highlight this and then select what you want and then still well it's kind of, I don't know, it's not letting me right now. Or maybe, maybe I broke that too. Because I don't use this screen anymore because we have uh, the other one. Um, that's, I guess I will, cause that's about it to talk about, about, about this one. I'll leave, um, a link to where you can try it out, um, in the, in the description of the video. This will only work with the Steam version though. So for the Steam version, they compile some Steam stuff into the exe so that this won't work with this won't work with the gog version when you when you open up that steam version no matter where you have that exe located it's going to play it from your steam apps um, game folder so um, just be aware of that if you try to like uh, put it somewhere else if you have your steam game and your steam apps and you try to put um, a copy of a, of a Steam game somewhere else, it's going to play it from the Steam directory, the Steam apps directory. Well, any, oh yeah, Galactic Conquest 2. Let's, let's show how, how that works. So I do have um, one of the custom Galactic Conquests in, um, installed the uh, Star, uh, the Clone Wars Revised. Um, so you can see that that's working. And then in here, you can't select planets with the mouse. That's a bug that I'm not sure how to fix. Um, because this, the, when I run these same files with the debugger, the mouse works, um, but it doesn't doesn't work with um, with the the, um, the version with controller support. But I did manage to plumb in like on the console, you can use the D-pad or the left thumbstick to select planets, which is a little bit nicer anyways, when you're uh, using a controller. And um, on the on the menus here, the the left and right bumpers, they'll select, they'll, they'll toggle you through like the different menus, kind of like they do on, on the console version of the game. Okay, so let's see here. I guess that's about, that's about all I wanted to cover on this one. Like I said before, I'll leave a link in the description below the video uh, to a package you can try out if, if you want to. And I do plan on uh, fixing some more bugs on, um, on this one, but I do feel like this is pretty functional. Um, 
But yeah, let me know if you find any bugs in the comments. All right, guys, that's all for now. Uh, talk to you later. All right, bye.